What's going on everyone? Happy Wednesday and welcome back to my channel. Hopefully everyone is doing well, staying safe, healthy, and testing negative for the viruses that can make us sick. It is time now for the Wednesday edition of the Virus Update for Wednesday, November 19th, 2025. If you're new to my channel, welcome to my channel. This is where I do the daily virus update on all those viruses that can make us sick. Let's face it, much of the world, much of the Northern Hemisphere is entering winter right now. The colder months are coming. More people are inside during the winter, which means more viruses spread very easily. Hey, we're entering flu season. And did you know that this year's flu season could feature a new strain dash variant of flu? Yes, it's real. It's coming. You need to be informed on that. Want to stay informed? Subscribe down below. Give this video a thumbs up if you like it. Hit the notification bell. Share this video with anyone you know. And leave your comments down below. Already we have several news stories, including one that will talk about a new strain of flu. Also, we're going to update on something that um, originally happened back in 2022. And now there's a health update for this person. I think you may know what it's about. You may have already seen the story. Maybe you didn't. Plus, we do have several wastewater sites that we need to take a look at today. Starting off in New Zealand with their weekly COVID update for November 16th, 2025. This is from November 10th through to the 16th for the data period. Uh, reported cases of COVID, 157. That's down by 13.2%. Reported deaths, 2. That's down by 50%. Total deaths. 5,477, that is up by 2, and hospitalizations, they went up a little bit, 32, that's up by 39.1%. Sticking with New Zealand for a moment here, new measles case linked to Auckland Airport confirmed, yes, measles cases have been continuing to go up in New Zealand, and it looks like the total number of measles cases there is now up to uh, 19, so uh, yeah, measles cases continuing to be a problem over in New Zealand. Now to the state of Michigan here in the United States, where Wilson Middle School is to close Wednesday in Wyandotte. So, uh, yeah, and guess why? Norovirus. It's, I mean, I said this was coming, and here we go. Here's one school. Do I think this will be the last school? No, I think there'll be more schools, at least over the course of the colder months. I think we're going to see several more schools, but here we go. A uh, norovirus is starting to spread. We'll take a look at some wastewater data in Michigan. That actually is one of the states that I have uh, listed on my little note sheet here to take a look at because of another virus. And yeah, this would be the one right here. A new potentially severe flu variant is spreading in the U.S. And then it says watch for these symptoms. Well, we don't need to do the symptoms part. A lot of symptoms oftentimes are very similar to COVID, which is why these multi-tests that are now out, you know, it detects uh, COVID, flu A, flu B, some do other things as well. It's very important that we use those nowadays because a lot of people take a test. Oh, I'm negative for COVID. Okay, I don't have COVID. Okay, you could be positive for another virus. But yes, H3N2, a, a new strain of uh, influenza. A, uh, which has a subclade K, is surging worldwide. You've heard me mention many different places where flu has been a problem. The UK, things have been going upward. Japan, things have been going upward. Australia had a real bad flu season. And in some portions of Australia, flu is actually gone back up once again and still not dropping yet. It was, and then it saw a resurgence yet again. So H3N2, subclade K, this is bad uh could we end up having a worse flu season than last year? It is possible. Some experts are saying that is possible. So this is something we are really going to have to watch because it has rapidly spread and uh, gained dominance. And remember, we learned with COVID all the way back with the Delta variant, back in the early days of COVID, we learned that a new variant can cause things to be altered and can cause more cases. Then we learned about Omicron, which infected a ton of people at once. So, yes, a new variant or strain of a virus can be very serious. I believe last year, norovirus might have been a new strain, and norovirus went bonkers last year. So when something new of a virus comes around, uh, it's generally not a good thing. And, yeah, H3N2 strain of influenza A, something we're going to be watching big time this winter because it could cause a high number of cases. All right, sticking with flu, but switching to bird flu now. 
North Dakota wildlife officials are monitoring bird flu, and they have been reporting cases of bird flu in the state of North Dakota. Uh, we've seen a big resurgence of this after a lull during the summertime. Bird flu is back in full force here in the United States, and it is back in many other countries as well. Alrighty, now I got an update for you on something that happened a long time. Follow along with me. I have an archive over my website, datareport.info, of people who have tested positive for COVID. Now, I often do not get time to work on it because of work, long COVID, just doing these videos each day. That takes a lot of time. So, uh, it's very rare I get to uh, update the long, the, excuse me, the COVID positive archive. I mean, there's probably hundreds of names that I need to add, maybe more than that. But uh, I did see something that was floating around on social media that caught my attention. George Clooney did have a case of COVID back in 2022, and apparently it was quite serious. We don't know when precisely this was in 2022, but he was directing a movie, Boys in the Boat, at the time. He was 62 years old, and he had to direct the movie from the iPad at uh, one point because he was so sick with COVID. Now, we do know COVID can go on to cause issues with your brain. It can cause damage to your brain. It can go on to cause Alzheimer's and dementia. Well, get this. It looks to be he is now dealing with memory issues. And let's go over to uh, one of those uh, websites. Let's go over to one of the articles that talks about this. Yes, he is concerned about uh, dementia. And it does even say in some of these articles that he is having issues remembering his lines now. So, yikes, not good. I'm not saying this is linked to him having COVID. I am just uh, trying to inform you that COVID can go on to cause those problems. But, uh, yeah, this is not good to see yet another actor dealing with this. We've seen several at this point dealing with uh, memory issues and then several dealing with other health issues. Um, it's really sad to watch just what's happening here with how many actors. I mean, he's only in his mid-60s. This is uh, really sad to watch. So, again, George Clooney now dealing with memory issues. Yikes, uh, not good. All right, let's see if we have an update here in the United States on the total number of measles cases. It says, as of November 18th, a total of 1,753 cases were reported in the United States. Among these, 1,730 measles cases were reported by 43 jurisdictions. I don't actually know if that is an updated number. Seems like the same number, but eh, what do I know? It does say November 18th. Taking a look now at what's going on in Canada, hey, tomorrow we get an update from the UK. I don't know if we're going to get that into tomorrow's video or not. We may be going out in the wild. We'll just have to wait and see what happens. Actually, I have to go over to New Jersey tomorrow for a catering order. Uh, take a look at this. Uh, Canada, wastewater viral activity level for COVID-19 is moderate. Flu A is moderate. Flu B is low. RSV at this time is listed as low. Let's take a look now at what's going on with the air qualities here in the United States. And while we're waiting for that, let's pause for a hydration break, shall we? Yikes, this map is not looking good today. We're seeing bad air qualities once again on the West Coast. Mind you, some of that can be flawed by storm systems. Uh, you know, moisture in the air, that could make it look worse than it is. But overall, I find if there's days where there's moisture in the air, uh, I notice my breathing sometimes is worse. Uh, take a look in the east, generally east of the Mississippi. Really bad there, western Canada. I mean, there's a lot of places that you need to be really careful if you have some sort of a breathing disorder or some sort of breathing issue. Not good. Even if you're sick, it's not a good idea to go outside when there's bad breathing conditions. All right, taking a look at Florida, we do see several uh, different calls for many different things going on there, so that is not good. Taking a look at what's going on with the hospitals in Maryland today, and we do see it looks to be things are better than yesterday. Mind you, we're recording at 11.28 a.m. As the day goes on, things can get worse into the afternoon, but Overall, we're seeing a lot more ones here today than we were yesterday, and much less fours. Four meaning an emergency department is spilling over capacity. Taking a look at Philadelphia yesterday, fantastic news. Just 686 EMS incidents. And if you're new around here and you're hearing me say, just 686, that's a lot of calls. Well, actually, we can have way higher than that. Some of the highest days I've ever seen in Philadelphia is north of 900. I think we had a 1,000 day one time. 
pretty sure we did. Uh, a lot of times we're over 800. So I think as of lately, for this fall, we're doing better than we were last year. I remember last year, we were not seeing as many uh, 700 and 600 days. We just weren't. We are seeing a lot of days over 800. It was just really bad last year. Live look at what's going on in the suburbs of Philadelphia, just outside of the area. We do see that there are some EMS calls going on, including this. I see cardiac arrest in Lower Marion Township, Pennsylvania. Yikes, that's not something we like to see on there. Let's see what's going on in Chester County. And we also see cardiac arrest there as well in West Whiteland Township. And we are seeing respiratory difficulties show up and a few other things at this time. Taking a look at Bucks County, which has been fairly busy this morning. Uh, yeah, it was 12 incidents before I refreshed this, and it's still 12 incidents. We just see a lot of different things going on. We're not seeing respiratory distress. I was seeing that earlier, not seeing it when I look at it now, so I guess that is some good information. Let's take a look now to see if uh, Pennsylvania gave us the weekly update on what is going on when it comes to influenza cases and RSV. We do see 1,000 847 laboratory confirmed influenza cases have been reported. Season to date starts back in uh, September 28th up through to uh, the 15th of November. And it does look like they're still saying emergency department visits are low statewide. With that being said, uh, for the week ending on November 8th, 2025, there were 106 new adult hospital admissions and six new pediatric hospital admissions for flu. RSV, 609 laboratory confirmed cases from September 28th through November 15th. For the week ending on November 15th, the percent of emergency department visits is low for RSV. For the week ending on November 8th, 2025, there were 29 new adult hospital admissions and 10 pediatric hospital admissions in Pennsylvania. And it looks like uh, COVID is still low statewide. For the week ending on uh, November 8th, 2025, there were... 227 new adult hospital admissions and 15 new pediatric hospital admissions. It still amazes me how much uh, COVID we do here in the hospitals in Pennsylvania. Now moving on to New Jersey, where we have to take a look at a news story first. Aha, yes, another news story. A trio of respiratory viruses is sending people to the hospital in New Jersey. And you know, it's uh, COVID-19, influenza, and RSV. They're saying here that there is some increases for that at this time from that report that we normally take a look at from New Jersey. So, uh, yeah, New Jersey starting to see an increase. Hey, take a look at this. Cooper University Hospital, this is in Camden County, New Jersey. That's South Jersey. Uh, they are dealing with a total divert for patient volume at this time. And we do see Inspira Medical Center, Malka Hill, total divert, specialty issue at Inspira Medical Center, Mannington, specialty issue at Mulhenberg, Hospital, psychiatric issue at Robert Wood Johnson. University hospitals dealing with a psychiatric issue. Yikes, that's one, two, three, four, five. That's six different hospitals with an issue in New Jersey today. Hey, that's the most we have seen in a while. Taking a look at what's going on in New York State. Doubt we have today's update yet, but 173 cases on yesterday's update. The update will come in this afternoon. We'll have a number for you tomorrow. Taking a look at uh, some data now for wastewater we have maine first we've got a couple things we got to take a look at in maine two wastewater sites actually first off in portland maine it's the biggest wastewater site in the state we do see covid is listed at medium influenza a is why we're looking at this it's listed high and it is rising pretty quickly at this point things are getting bad for that norovirus is another reason to look at this norovirus is dropped a little bit i think that's going to correct but overall, norovirus is high. Now, I also have in my notes here, Bangor, Maine is somewhere else we need to take a look at. So let's go up to there and take a look at this. Bangor, Maine has multiple issues at this time. COVID's a little bit high. We're not seeing it rise at this point. Influenza A did have a quick rise. Now it's dropped a little bit. We'll have to see if that corrects. But again, influenza A is a little bit high there. Norovirus is also a little bit high at that wastewater site. Now coming out to Michigan, where, mind you, I have this set up for influenza once again. And you can see here, it is showing Jackson, Michigan is uh, coming up high for influenza. Take a look at that. Really quick increase there. We're also seeing medium for COVID as well. And 
norovirus yikes that has seen a quick increase as well so not good to see that let's go to the nationwide level and you can see here there are a few states now that are starting to see more waste utah is one of them iowa uh, we've known about iowa we've also known about vermont and uh, florida not doing too bad when it comes to influenza but let's change this to covid take a look there is a change now medium covid levels in the northeast medium in the midwest and now the west coast has been added to medium I don't know why. Let's take a look here, see what the chart shows. Well, it still shows it's dropping, so I don't know why they recalculated it to medium. It's saying an upward trend despite this chart still dropping. I'm assuming this will get corrected later in the week. Hey, take a look at the West. We're seeing RSV show up a little higher. Also seeing influence A increase a little more. Let's go back to the national level and take a look at norovirus now. It's medium in the Northeast then high in the midwest high in the southeast and let's actually take a look at the chart for that first off you can see here COVID, yeah going up a little bit and then it drops some we'll have to see if that gets corrected rsv increasing its presence and there's norovirus yeah aside from this incomplete data wonky movement at the end norovirus has been quickly going up that's not good to see whatsoever that it's quickly uh, going up and i think it's only going to get worse like i said i think we are definitely going to see more school norovirus outbreaks soon unfortunately that could also include long-term care facilities as well let's go to somewhere out on the west coast now for wastewater we'll end here and we can see uh, san diego california very low for COVID at this time doing very well for all the viruses actually uh this is really some fantastic news but before we end today, we've got to go back to this. H3N2, with its subclade K strain of influenza, likely to make big headlines this winter. It could be a really harsh flu season. Uh, Thanksgiving is just next week. We already see a few wastewater sites showing increased levels of flu. As I showed you here, I'm going to show it to you again. Uh, where's flu? Let's go to influenza A. I think once we get past Thanksgiving next week, see these orange sites, which I was talking about? I think we're going to see a lot more of them pop up, a lot more yellows as well. I don't think we're going to be seeing all the regions show uh, blue once we're in December. I think we're going to see more medium and maybe even some high areas at some point show up here. Yeah, things are about to really get bad for flu. And then, of course, you have COVID and all those other viruses as well. Alrighty, folks, if you enjoyed today's video, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe down below. Hit that notification bell, share this video with anyone you know, and leave your comments down below. And of course, ways to support the channel, such as becoming a Patreon member, which helps me do my work here, helps me supplement when I have the long COVID issues as well. Um, there's a way to support me there down below. Alrighty, folks, I'll see you again next time. Until I see you again next time, stay safe, everyone, and have a fantastic Wednesday afternoon. Thanks for watching.